Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make this cute and really easy, very very easy uh, hat. Beginners can make it, just maybe you need to release your hand tension, hand tension a little bit. Uh, if you don't want, you can use a bigger size hook. And that's not a slouch version. Of course, if you want to have a slouch version, uh, you can use bigger size hook than I used, which I used eight millimeter and seven, seven millimeter hooks, eight millimeter for here and for this part, seven millimeter for the rest. I used this yarn, Papatia Tweet, chunky yarn it's a category 5 yarn and 100 grams is 150 meters it's an acrylic and wool and viscose uh, blend uh, you can use any chunky yarn uh, sorry it's a category 4 yarn okay yeah it's a category 4 yarn and thicker for yarn it says chunky so i thought uh, <laughs> it's a, a category five yarn a thicker four uh, you can use any category four yarn for the same results you can use a bigger size yarn because you can adjust this easily uh, which i'm gonna explain you in the video how to make it and i hope you like this tutorial too and that's all if you are ready please don't forget to subscribe to my channel let's start now we're gonna start with the brim by the way my baby girl is here actually my boys are here also but they are afraid of her because you know the girl power. <laughs> make a slip knot and make nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then turn your chains. Skip this first one, insert into the second chain's back bump here, insert, grab the yarn, directly pull through. We are going to make slip stitch, insert into the next, grab the yarn, pull through, pull through. That's the last one. Chain one and turn. Try to make this slip stitch not too tight. <laughs> it's actually hard for me too, but I will try it. If you, uh, if it's so hard for you, you can change your hook. Use a nine millimeter hook here. Now you see this stitch, we are going to use only this back loop. Okay, skip this first one, that's our chain of course, into this first stitch back loop, make a slip stitch, insert into the next, a slip stitch. And that's the last one. Make a slip stitch. Chain one, turn. Again, insert into the back loop and make eight slip stitches. Six. 
six, seven, and eight. Chain one, turn, use the back loop, make your slip stitch. And I'm gonna make this till it uh, fits to my head. Uh, that's the beautiful part of this hat. You can make this rose as long as you want. You don't have to a specific number for the rest. Uh, just be careful to make it an even number. That means, uh, as you know, we started from here. You're going to finish here. Um, make it as long as you want. Uh, when I turn back, I'm gonna give you the uh, numbers, of course. But make it as long as you want, and we're gonna join them together. Okay, I just made 68 rows. It seems a little short, but it will loosen up a lot, as you can see. So that's enough. Now, that's where we start, and that's where we finish. We're gonna put them together. Now you see that's our chain insert here. Insert both loops. Just grab the loop, pull it. Insert into this next chain and from here insert into the back loop. You see that's the front loop, that's the back loop. And we are using the second stitch now. Insert both loops, back loop and join. Once you complete the joining, just turn your work and it will look like that. Now I'm going to change the hook because I try this stitch with same hook and it looks like that. If it's good to you, actually it looks good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep going with eight millimeter. If it seems a little bit, a little way too loose, I could change the hook then. Now grab the loop. We're gonna use these, you see these lines? We are going to use the last stitch of them. Insert here in between these two loops. It could be a little hard, but just take your time. Don't hurry. Insert into this first one. Actually, you can make a chain here. Then insert into this first one. Grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, so we made a single crochet. Then chain one. Skip here into this next. Put a single crochet. Chain one. a single crochet. Try to make these single crochets 
lose Trade one. Just make a chain, then put a single crochet. I'll see at the end. I'm at the end. I made a chain insert from this first stitch and make a slip stitch. Then chain one. Now we are gonna work between these two loops this time. But let me show you. There's two loops, as you can see. Um, there is one more here this one while you are inserting just try to leave this one to the left side here okay this one you're gonna insert like that leave this one to the left you can directly insert with this way too, but if you use this method, your uh, work is uh, slightly, uh, will go to the left side. If you keep them still like um, a line here, you need to insert in between these two and leave this one to the left. This could help you just hold this right loop with your hooks. Mm, I'm not sure how you call it. Okay, just hold it and insert. Grab the loop, put a single crochet and don't make it too tight. Make a chain. It's not so hard to make once once you get used to. Keep going, see you at the end. Now, chain one, insert from this first stitch at the end, but I'm going to show you how to change the color. That's all we will repeat for um, maybe uh, 20 centimeters long. If you start, you're going to start to measure from here. Okay. Um, I want to show you how to change the color too, because I will make it, but if you don't wanna, you don't have to. Insert into this stitch. Just grab this next color. Pull through. And cut the other one. Then chain one. Keep making single crochets. Chain one. Put a single. Then 
that's all. Uh, now I will keep going uh, and I'll see you. I made it 20 centimeters long and it's also 8 inches long. Honey. Okay. And he helped me. So now. I'm going to change the color again and uh, I will make some kind of decreases close to half. Insert from the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Make a chain. Put a single crochet and now for this row I will not make any chains I will just make single crochets by the way I forgot to tell you when I changed the color I didn't change the color uh, the place I showed you before I just make a few more rows then change the color and when I change it I changed the hook too. I'm using a 7 millimeter. You can see easily. Okay. It's loose here and starting from here. It's tightened a little bit. Now I will just make single crochets for this row. I see at the end. Now at the end, I'm gonna join with a slip stitch. Chain one. And start to put single crochets like we usually do. We will not make any decreases. Just put one single crochet into each single crochet you have. Okay, join with a slip stitch. Now we are gonna make some decreases again. Insert in the middle of the stitch, grab the yarn, pull through. Insert into the next one, grab the yarn, pull through. So that's a regular single crochet decrease. Then pull through all. Then make five single crochets. Actually, four will be better. Make a decrease, then four single crochets, then a decrease. Four single crochets. A decrease. Keep repeating. Now once you reach almost at the end, I'm gonna put one more decrease. Then make single crochets for the rest for how many stitches you have because you, you I have two but you could start with a different number so it's not important just put single crochets then join with a slip stitch make a chain and for this row we are gonna make single crochets you see that's my decrease i'm gonna insert in the middle of here but it's not too important. You can just insert into this stitch too, cause it will not seen, you know. We are gonna close this uh, part. I made one. I 
I made this row, I think, a little too tight. So that's my decrease insert here. Put a single crochet. Just keep going and finish this row. Now I complete the row, cut the yarn, and we are gonna close. Oops. <laughs> I hate to do this in front of the camera. Actually, I have a kind of a tool for this, but who cares? <laughs> now insert from one of the states, go out the other one. I'm gonna make this in front of my work because I will use a um, pom-pom if you're not you can make it from the back squeeze here tightly make some knots and hide the tail actually it's too much I'm gonna cut it a little bit And I made the pom-pom to, if I could take it, <laughs> just a second, <laughs> don't mind me, please. Now I'm gonna put it here. I have a video about how to make a pom-pom, you can find it here. Now I will attach it. Yeah. And that's all. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Sinis Crochet is my Instagram address. It's also my website, Revelry, Etsy, Pinterest, Facebook. You can find me anywhere you want. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.